I remember thinking as the plane lifted off and you see the ground disappearing below you. It's like, ah, oh, this is worth it. Completely. That This is the end goal of everything. Um, I remember thinking that over and over and over again over the, the next couple weeks. I thought it when I sat by the Seine in Paris and it was slightly raining and there was a guy playing a saxophone on the corner and it was just... Or I thought it uh, when I first went on the London Underground, which is a dream, or the first time I saw a lightning storm in Switzerland, and the first time I saw the clear and the deep blue and the really white foamy of the Mediterranean, and if I had any advice to give, just go. Please go to Europe. I would absolutely 100% recommend for someone to go. You can't understand the impact it will have on you until it's done. I mean, there, even like in the first couple days, I was like, I have seen more in the past couple days than I have in my whole entire life. But then I got home and there's just, I can't, I can't explain it, but it's, it's the things I learned about myself, I didn't even know they were there to learn. <laughs> One more thing is it like got me out of my comfort zone. I didn't realize how far out of my comfort zone it would be, but um, once you're there, once you do that, once you're out of the country surrounded by strangers who don't even speak your language most of the time, and you come back and you're like, well, I did that. <laughs> what, what else can I do? And there are so many things I've done with my life since the trip that it's like, hmm. I 
almost certainly wouldn't have done that if I hadn't uh, if I hadn't gone on the trip. 